What's up, y'all? Make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video so you don't get scammed like a lot of other people are right now. So basically, what's happening is this is a conversation between me and G Herbo that you see up top. He posted a video stating, all business owners, artists, tap in. I'm working on a project. I'm working with all budgets. So me, I don't like to pass up on opportunities. I tapped in. I sent him a message below. I said, hope you see this. Been my favorite rapper since 2014. I sent him one of my music videos. Now, here's where it gets tricky. I got this exact message from Skilla Baby and T Grizzly when they posted the same kind of video telling people to tap in. Basically after this, he just asked what my budget was, ignored everything else I said, because what they're doing is they'll have somebody like an artist or a business send them money for a deposit and then keep the money and then never talk to them again. So I'm glad I didn't send any money and I hope you don't either because it's messed up they're doing their day one supporters like this. All right, y'all, so I usually don't do stuff like this, but I wanted to shed light on the situation since a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, influencers were scammed by this boy right here, G Herbo. So last week, G Herbo posted on a new app, Threads, that he's looking for business owners, entrepreneurs, influencers, artists, and he wants us all to tap in with him because he got this big project that he's working on. So as you see, this is me replying back to his Threads post. I told him to check his DM box. Me, I'm the type of person, I don't like to miss out on opportunities. I saw an opportunity and I took it and I was just like, okay, let me reply back to him. Doesn't look like I replied back because since then he's deleted his threads posts, all of them, and the post isn't even there anymore. So it looks like I'm talking to myself, but I'm not. I'm really talking to him. He responded by saying, let's work. I'm down to work with you. You're dope for sure and got vision, but in my eyes, you got to boost that following. What's a real budget you're working with right now ready to go so we can come up with a game plan that makes sense? I'm talking intros, video drops, stories, all types of promo. Let me know something ASAP so we can work. So I ignore that followers comment because a lot of people think that just because you got a lot of followers means you're going to get a lot of sales and that's not true at all. So I reply saying, thank you. Please let me know what your visions are in reference to your brand. I'm able to accommodate you, blah, blah, blah. You can read the text above. And all he replied was how much you got to work right now. So he didn't tell me what he was working on. He didn't tell me what the project was. He didn't tell me what he needed. He just wanted me to send money and I wasn't about to do that. This didn't make any sense at all. I didn't understand why he wanted me to pay him for a project that he's working on instead of him paying me. So I just went with my good, didn't reply, didn't send no money because no, we're not doing that. But for the people that did do that, do not ever let nobody insult you because you may not be where you are right now, but People like him do not deserve to work with you at all. Number two, do not ever pay anybody to work with them unless it's for your own personal project, not the other way around, because that just doesn't make no sense at all. And number three, trust your gut. If it's given red flags, and that's what it is, a red flag. To me, it seemed like he just got out of jail. He was trying to turn his life around. He's trying to work with business owners, get his stuff together. And no, he's trying to scam people and go back to jail. So, hey, you get what you asked for. Breaking news on well-known Chicago rapper G Herbo. He and five other men charged with using stolen credit cards to charter private jets, rent exotic cars and a villa in Jamaica, and buy designer puppies. The six men were charged in federal court in Massachusetts. This week, G Herbo made Forbes' annual 30 under 30 list, which highlights young leaders and entrepreneurs, according to the site. See what it is, man. Free goo out, man. Free goo out. The streets talking crazy, man. I don't know what they talking about. Look at the watch collection. Look at the watch collection, yeah. Look at the ring collection, you know what I'm saying? So, we got one Cuban, team. we got another Cuban. Y'all saying I own jewelry, why well, I still got it then? We, we, look, another gold Cuban, playing kilo. Let's take, that's two kilos right there, SK piece. Another Cuban. <laughs> and last but not least, a chain that's called 250 racks. I'm out, man. I just got another rollie. My bad. So that's, you know what I'm saying? I just want to let people know all this is for motivation. I ain't trying to be, I ain't, I'm very, very humble. You know what I'm saying? God bless me. Today was the day I had a jet ski accident. I almost died. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for Goo Up. Goo Up came out. I'm going to wake up to what? Bless. What was that? Cuzzo, what you want, gang? Bless, man, for real. God is amazing. That's that new Maybach. Oh, shit. That's that Rafe. 
Damn. That's that Rolls Royce Wraith. That's the new crib. You know what I'm saying? Please do not leave no negative comments in my shit. Please do not send me nothing while I go out of job. I don't care. We haven't. We haven't. I'm back in my jet. You know what I'm saying? I'm back in my hangar. I'm doing maintenance today. You know what I'm saying? Making sure everything is right. I got a Vegas coming up on the 27th, so we gotta make sure. Come on, Brad. Let's go, man. Don't play around. Don't play around. Yeah. This is the first time I'm hearing my engine start on the jet. It sounded real good last time I bought it. There was no AC on it. I had to do a lot of the wires. Now the engine is on. Take me out of bro. I'm showing how we living, man. Show how we living, my boy. See how we living. Living good. You dig? We ain't playing around here, man. That's like that one, man. You see what it is, man. King Stun! I got my jet. God is amazing. I'm working hard, man. We putting in work. I'm on the way to Vegas, the 27th, so we coming. You know what I'm saying? King Stun! Story time of how Sean Kingston scammed me and my company. So I am a private jet broker for Nava Jets, and I also run their social media. So one day we get a message from Sean Kingston. He was interested in one of our planes for sale and came to Palm Beach with his family to see the plane. He said he was going on tour and wanted this plane ready soon and there was no Wi-Fi. So we flew the plane from Palm Beach to Fort Lauderdale for our mechanics to install the Wi-Fi for him for it to be ready for his tour. And this was out of our expense. We had to pay the pilots and for the fuel and everything. He came again to Fort Lauderdale, brought his family and friends. Um, we popped the champagnes, we shook hands, agreed on a price, and they signed the contract. The contract stated that the payment is due in full within the three days of signing. And Sean was posting that this is his jet, that he bought it with not even a dollar down. He's telling us that we can be in him and Justin Bieber's new music video, um, just leading us on, saying that he would pr promote Nava Jets and just a bunch of crap. When the third day came and the payment was due, they went ghost and they blocked us. They said it was our obligation to help find them a plane since the plane wasn't ready. There was no Wi-Fi installed, um, but we were trying to help them for three weeks to sign the contract so the plane would be ready in time for him to fly to Vegas for his show. But then I googled Sean Kingston and this is what he does. He's a con artist and he's a scammer and he scams people. He was stealing jewelry in New York City and just at the end of the day he's not a good person. And um, I just don't know how you could do that to someone when the contract is signed and I don't know. Yes, boss. Listen, man, back in here again, once again, dog, and I'm I'm very happy to be back here. So here's the deal. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that from all of the old videos I used to tell you about. Yo, there's some people who get paid to trick and confuse people, rappers and entertainers. A lot of them are broke. They don't really have money. It's all a facade. It's an image, dog. And I, I said this before. During my stint with music, I've seen certain stuff that really just, it just made me scratch my head and say, yo, like some of these guys really don't have money. And it goes to show you, right? Look at G, G Herbo to start off, right? G, G Herbo is being hit now for wire fraud. And basically he must have scammed for over $1.5 million. And he's ordered to pay some of that money back. Here's the deal. If you're supposed to be a big time rapper, I'm pretty sure you're making money, but that's the image that they sell to people. A lot of them are broke. I've said this multiple of times, dog. So it's all about keeping up with the facade. You get what I'm saying? So they sell this lifestyle to you that, yo, I have money. I got this. I got that. Even Takashi 69 came out and said it, yo. He said, the only reason why I didn't hit Billboard number one is because I think he said Ariana Grande must have pulled out her credit card before me, meaning that they bought that spot. A lot of them, they don't have money. It's going off of likes and influence. How much people can they get to buy into them? Who likes them? Who supports them? Things like that, right? And just like how the guy said in the first video, Yo, I'm a fan of G Herbo. I would never think that he would try to scam me. This is the thing I'm trying to tell you. I've said this before as well. A lot of these people, they don't care about you. 
What I'm starting to understand more and more by the day is that the industry, they sign some of the grimiest of the grimiest of people. People that they know do not care about the general public. People who are willing to take an agenda or willing to roll out an agenda, take an oath, all for money, fame, status, whatever it is that comes with it. And you have to understand that these people do not care about who gets harmed in the process because they have their own obligations, family, things to take care of. And as well as that, their own urges to satisfy in life. So you would probably be one of the last people on the menu. They need your care and support, especially your money. But at the same time, they don't care about you. Right. So moving on to Sean Kingston. And this one was kind of crazy for me. Right. Because I never knew that Sean Kingston was really out here scamming like this. Everybody knows Sean Kingston from making beautiful girls, all of that, whatever crap. Right. Now, since then, Sean Kingston has been quiet, but all I've been hearing of from him is that, yo, he's into scamming. And it's no, it's no secret, dog. Scamming is something very big in Jamaica. It's big in the islands. Stuff, scamming is big, dog. Let's just leave it as that, right? Now, allegedly, Sean Kingston was flexing jewelry. It's been out there that he's robbed and finessed jewelers. Hasn't paid the full price for the jewelry. He took it and never paid it all fully. Like, it's a lot of stuff that's come out against him. And the reason being why this kind of touches me a little bit is the fact that I understand life can get hard. Some people want to live up with the lifestyle and the hype. But you got to understand something. If you cannot afford it, leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people run for this lifestyle thinking that, yo, uh, I got it or I got money. Some of these guys, they have to scam, rob, and finesse people and play a part just to just to keep up that image. Just like the girl showed you who she represents a jet company. Sean Kingston scammed her company, dog. Signed contract paperwork and scammed them. Had them put in Wi-Fi and all of that just for an image, just for, just for capping and, and flexing on people. And I'm here to show you something again, dog. A lot of people, when they do this, all they have in mind is shitting on people, showing people, oh, I'm making or I'm doing this, that, and the third. You have to understand some people are very, very infatuated with looking successful rather than being successful. You get what I'm saying? Because they see that being successful, it's it takes a lot of work, but it's very easy to finesse people. So a lot of them out here, they're using their influence their status, their name to go ahead and finesse people. And this is the part about it that kind of hurts a little bit, kind of burns, right? Sean Kingston was involved in a jet ski accident earlier on in his career that almost claimed his life. And you would think that from somebody having a near-death experience that that would be like a, a an appreciation for life. I don't know what that message sent to him, but scamming and robbing people isn't the way dog and the sad part about it is i understand that it's a certain lifestyle that he's seen around him some of these people let me tell you something dog and i'm not supporting people are taking up for them but a lot of these guys they grew up seeing certain things and a lot of them grew up in poverty you know what i'm saying sean kingston is from jamaica so am i so i understand that poverty gets poverty is real life get hard but at the same time scamming people just to obtain a lifestyle or live a certain kind of way that's not it because it it comes back to backfire on you now people are more into his scam allegations as opposed to his music that he would have dropped that's the sad part when you're known as an artist you want to be known for your music you don't want to be known for nothing else dog you don't want to be known for oh that's the dude who robs people or yo that's the girl who who, who sets up dudes to have them robbed. You want to be known for the person who does the music, dog. You get what I'm saying? You don't want to be one of these people out here who tarnish your name just because you want to live a certain lifestyle and live in the hype. It's never going to really work out the way that you want it to. And it's costing people. Look at G Herbo. G Herbo is facing 20, plus, 20 years, I, uh, I believe. And they said it's probably, what, bare minimal five years? And that's Fed time. You got to understand that's from scamming millions of dollars off of credit cards. Those are stolen credit cards, all fraudulent. 
scamming is it's been out here for a long time but there are people who never believe that there are artists who are out here scamming and robbing people there are a lot of artists who scam and rob people they scam and finesse all day long you have to understand that a lot of them are in a bind some of them they sign contracts that they didn't fully read over and they're in debt to the label so they try to find other ways to make means of their lifestyle make up for certain things pay off certain debts and that scamming the very the very same people that admire them and listen to them so these are all things that you have to take into consideration and you have to look at very thoroughly there are a lot of people out here that are on a main stage that don't really care about you they just care about what you can do for them i.e money supporting them sharing them because more people that share and support them that's the better for them in their career more revenue more streams more all of that so you got to realize this it's all a chess game and you have to think and look at it from all sorts of aspects there are a lot of celebrities who scam their fans there are a lot of fans who don't believe that their favorite rapper or celebrity would scam them until they get scammed you get what i'm saying so remember these little rules and you'll understand and see in life that there are a lot of illusions out here and a lot of people who are out here playing trickery on you so you just have to open your eyes and look at the deception from afar you know what i'm saying remember this words can help you they can hurt you but here on my channel i use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion nobody's a loser and once again, none of these guys here are losers, man. I say this from the from the heart, bro. I don't hate nobody, not a soul. Once you have wisdom and understanding and you see things from outside the box, putting yourself in another person's shoes, you can understand. This is the game that they play on people. They use human nature against us. And for those who don't understand human nature, you'll fall into the game of who you are as a person. You get what I'm saying? Meaning... That you trying to live a lifestyle for somebody else who probably don't care about you. Guess what? It's vice versa. There are people who try to live to impress you that they know, yo, you don't even care about them. It's just a role reversal thing. You just have to step outside of yourself and look at things in a whole nother aspect. When you take away all the money and the fame and the status at the end of the day, who are you after that? You get what I'm saying? Remember these little things and you'll go far in life. Remember that. That being said, it's 444 The World. Peace.